people move more than they ever did before in the, in the office. So you need tools that are as agile as your work style became. A chair actually should act like your own shadow. It should be there, it should be supporting you, but it should not bother you. And it should never interfere with your very natural way to move. The mirror was derived by the notion of mirroring the motion of a person. They should forget about it. They should just think it feels damn good. We are not making furniture, but equipment. So it's a piece of equipment that people like sports equipment feel confident to use. Evolution is like take something which is very good and make it better. And that is exactly what happened with Mirror, transforming it into Mirror 2. The trick is to get the molecules in the right place for the right task. Always being on that mission to really boil it down to the essence of what it should be. What we added with Mira 2 is the dimension of the sheer amount of energy that we use. That is now dramatically reduced by reducing the amount of material. We reduced it by 25%. Everything should be easily identified and easy to find. We don't expect anybody to read instruction manuals. We think a seat should be temperature neutral. Breathability is a very important factor of feeling comfortable in a chair. To come up with the balance right for every type of user and every weight class, that you really feel balanced every instance of the recline. Usually you have a constant spring rate and that's good for just one user. If you're lighter, you gotta fight against the spring and if you're heavier, you go in this recline position. We not only designed the product, but also the assembly process. So for the first time, the whole product is assembled at Herman